Time now for your first look at politics. And joining me is Newsday columnist and political analyst Ellis Hennigan. Thanks for being with the, us. These unemployment benefits that have pretty much been wiped away for over a million Americans, right? There's a big push to get those back. Is that hope diminishing a bit now? Well, Harry Reid did not have the votes last night, right? We know there was a procedural vote set for last night, and if he had had the votes, the 60 votes he needs to get this thing actually to have an ultimate vote, we would have had that last night. 10.30 this morning is the latest deadline. They are working very hard, including the president, making phone calls to Republican senators, and you know, he doesn't like to do that too much. <laughs> right. And trying to round up those uh, those last five that they need. So okay, it's, uh, it's right down to the wire. It's going to be down the wire. But if they don't get it, yeah. what's going to happen? What's the effect for these Americans? Well, I, I mean, you're right. There's a million point three uh, people who are already off and a couple of more million who could soon be. Mm -hmm. uh, they're currently up until the right, right at Christmas time. We're getting about 300 bucks a week on average. These are the long-term unemployed, right? The right. People who work for many years now because of the economy are having trouble getting back into the workforce. It's not going quickly. I, it's kind of bleak, honestly, Benny. So wait, let's look at the numbers again. Are you surprised that there's no more? There's not, in fact, more outrage because you said 1.3 million that's right. lost already. A couple more Another 3.6 million on the verge of being cut off. And you know, this is at a time where unemployment is at its highest levels. When you talk about the long-term unemployed, are you surprised that there's not more? outrage over this? Yeah, Dems were a little slow to jump on it, but be careful. 2014 is going to be the year of income inequality, right? One piece of it is getting these unemployment benefits back. Another is raising the minimum wage up above $10 an hour. And there are two or three other things coming after that. So, so Democrats, I think, are finally beginning to focus and say, hey, this is a problem when all the money's in one Ellis hand. Ellis Hennigan is a liberal political commentator and a columnist at Newsday, joining us from New York. Good to see both of you, Gentlemen. Uh, hey, Fred, all right, you. LSU first. So uh, this just keeps growing. Investigations now release of more than 2,000 documents. Does this kill any aspirations Governor Christie might have had for 2016? Oh, oh. Well, it doesn't kill it yet, but let's see what else comes out, right? The federal prosecutors have not even begun to squeeze some of the people who we know are involved in this thing. And, you know, they will make an effort to try and get them to rat up, to say, no, someone told me to do this or other people were involved in order to believe Chris Christie's denial. Essentially, you have to believe that Bridget Kelly, the deputy chief of staff, this, this mom of four from Ramsey, this, this nice lady, was some kind of rogue warrior in the New Jersey governor's office running this, uh, this Nixonian-style hit job on the mayor in Fort Lee. I, you know, maybe that's true, but, but I, I have my doubts. Does it speak well uh, for Governor Christie that he did allow himself to be thrown any question, tossed any question during two hours. He essentially gave this sort of, you know, I'm an op open book kind of demeanor. You know, does that bode well for him ultimately, especially for those who might doubt his word, but they did see that he was willing to answer anything that he was willing to take it on. He has good political skills. He, he sounded good standing up there. But at the same time, he locked himself into a very ironclad denial. And so it leaves him vulnerable th that if any evidence to the contrary comes forward, I if you have the, the chief of staff, uh, Kevin O'Dowd, or if someone else says, well, you know, maybe I mentioned it to the governor, or maybe he overheard it in the washroom, or, you know, it doesn't appear that he was CC'd on any of these emails that were, that were dumped last night. Yeah. But uh, he does not have a lot of wiggle room here. And it, you just have to put a big fat mm -hmm. asterisk above that uh, comment that says, well, yeah, he did pretty well in the press conference. All right, Ellis Hennigan. Fact and follow-up segment tonight. Justice Department supposed to be investigating allegations that the IRS unfairly targeted the Tea Party for scrutiny. Supposed to be investigating that. So far, the investigation has gone nowhere. Now we find out the person heading up the investigation into the IRS is a Justice Department attorney named Barbara K. Bosserman, who has donated money to President Obama's campaign. <laughs> Who's now here in New York? Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan and from Denver, Fox News analyst Linda Chavez. So, Linda, some believe, some cynical people believe the fix may be in. <laughs> you think? What say you? Uh, you know, th this is, you couldn't write this if this were a Saturday Night Live skit. You couldn't write it any better. I mean, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. It is ridiculous. And even Ellis, well, I, I shouldn't say that. 
Don't say that. This is a, this is a silly smear. Uh, honest to God. First of all, first of all, there is nothing remotely wrong with what the lady did. Let us judge her on what her lady? behavior. This uh, this attorney. Uh, okay, no, but with Washington. all the Justice Department attorneys, shouldn't no, they just for it appearance? Would be, sake? No, it would be improper no. to investigate her political background. Wait, wait, wait I'm not talking her. about Look, her. The Attorney General of the United States has a wide variety of people to investigate this. He can choose. Sure. Shouldn't just for appearance sake? No. You choose a neutral, independent person with no political. And you, you're going to find that out by doing some political investigation. Yeah, you ask Bill, him. we live in a Call him in and you ask him. We live in a na- the worst thing in the world to do. We live in a nation where every <laughs> single federal judge right. is appointed by a president. So you have no problem with the, with the Obama donor investigating well, the, you the two IRS. parties, you're going to get people yeah. on one okay. side or the other. Why hasn't Trivial. this investigation really taken off? Well, maybe the facts aren't. There. Why hasn't the Justice Department been more? It's almost a year. Well, and we're still getting around, and we're just getting around appointing some uh, Democratic donor to investigate? Well, listen, what the, happened? The when? truth of the matter is that this thing was announced with huge outrage and fanfare, yeah. and in fact, so far, Far. Now, this could change, but so far, the facts have not changed. Well, because the Justice that. Department hasn't well, investigated it. There are a million hey, people right, investigating well, it. No, there aren't. It's the Justice no. Department how, how, with how, subpoena how? power. They're the ones that have subpoena power. Well, you know what? And there's no yeah, that's reason. It. They haven't investigated. Well, they are, they are proceeding. Took them a year to appoint do not, But do not slur this right. lady if I'm you don't know what she's doing. I'm not slurring any lady. Don't say that.